Well, welcome everyone back to the channel. And if you are new here, a big welcome. Uh, we are down here today at the Barcelo Hotel Tenerife. You might be wondering why. If you are in the UK, you may have seen recently on BBC that there was a fantastic new show called Crossfire, uh, which we have watched. We did enjoy it. I'm sure a lot of you have as well. It's been a bit of a the talk of Tenerife as well because it was filmed right here at this hotel. So we're gonna have a little bit of a look around, show you where maybe some of the scenes were shot. If you haven't seen it, it might be worth checking out. I'll run through that a little bit later on, how you can go and watch it. It was like a three part series and it was quite good, quite gripping, really quite enjoyed action. It, yeah, something different as well to what we yeah. normally watch. So I enjoyed it, yeah. Something a little bit different. We've just returned to Tenerife from our little break in Florida. Uh, so you've seen all those Florida vlogs and we are now back here in Tenerife uh, where we do actually live. This hotel is just down from the airport, literally 10 minutes down the road is the airport. And just across that way is Golf del Ser, if you're wondering whereabouts we are. This hotel opened only in 2022. It's a new hotel. There's some amazing features out the back that I've seen as well. Oh, nice. So we're just gonna have a little bit of a walk around, not disturb anyone. We're not gonna be going in any of the rooms either. We're just gonna show you some of the area and what's around here as well. A lot of people have been trying to book in since this show came out on BBC. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's been very popular. So looking forward to showing you. It's very unique style, very different, I would say. Uh, and we'll talk about what is in the general area as well, if you are going to stay here. So let's uh, stride on inside. So I am recognising quite a few of the scenes as we go around already, uh, round by the pool area. It's a very unique, different sort of architecture in here, this like low level, it's very volcanic style, which I quite like. And the way the pool's quite green, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, if you're wondering what Crossfire is, I will just give you a quick rundown and breakdown of what it was. As I said, many people have tuned in and watched it. I'll just briefly tell you what exactly Crossfire is all about. So sunbathing on a hotel balcony while in a dream uh, holiday with their family and friends. Joe's world is turned upside down when shots ring out across the complex. Gunmen out for revenge have in an instant turned a slice of paradise into a terrifying heart breaking hell. A story of survival, resilience, uh, crossfire is an edge of your seat nail biting thriller yet also emotional, intimate and relatable. So do make sure you uh, check it out. That does lead us perfectly on to today's video sponsor, which is Surfshark. So a big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. I was absolutely delighted when they got in touch and wanted to work with us. We have used Surfshark for two years now. So I know my own experience, it's absolutely fantastic. What Surfshark allows you to do is change your internet IP address to different locations around the world, which unlocks a variety of different content. For the likes of us, we managed to use BBC iPlayer, uh, ITV Hub, and Netflix all over here in Spain, because with just one click, we can change our location to the UK or even America. Laura loves to switch it to America and watch some of the American Netflix shows that you just can't get uh, over here. We also love the added security feature that it has when we're connecting to various different Wi-Fi spots uh, in Florida or over here in bars, restaurants. You don't know who's on that network. It's, some of them are unsecure hotel networks as well. There could be someone in another room uh, watching what you're doing or hacking. This allows you to protect yourself from all of that with just one click and no one can access any of your data or information or emails. Because we're working with Surfshark, I have managed to get you a fantastic discount, 83% off and three months completely free when you use my discount code, that's surfshark.com forward slash nightstrider. The link will be down in the description. Click on there, sign up, it's very quick and easy and protect yourself online. So as we walk around, we could see various different filming locations spotted throughout. You can see the size of the resort just by the map there. Very large with various activities going on. 
And this hotel was coming out price-wise about €190 Euros a night starting price. You can have a little look online. As I said, many people have looked to book here since that show came out. Down on the lower level here and you've got absolutely everything jam-packed for families and kids. You've got beach volleyball here. You've got a rock climbing wall so kids can wear themselves out on that. You've got a tennis court, a basketball court, football pitch, everything. And we even did just catch some zen pool yoga it looked like what and they were just amazing relaxing out weren't they and even the music for the other people who weren't involved was just dead nice and relaxing yeah some people had be well asleep there yeah. so we're just heading now to the lake Nav navigable i think it's called and this is where I've seen the paddle boards and the kayaks. This section looks amazing. I'd love to see if we could pay to do them, That'd like separately without staying here. We will find out the information once we get there. There is a lot of construction going on around this section of the hotel, which will be nice when it's finished. This is nothing to do with the hotel, but there is a little bit of construction in the area, but we'll see. you do have to go to reception to get the information so we will go and do that uh, you can't obviously uh, sunbathe in here and you do have to be uh, over 16 for the kayaks unless uh, you're with an adult yeah it looks a really fun cool thing to do this i've never seen this in a hotel before it's not a huge huge lake but it would be enough to do a little bit of exercise but it's something fun to do me and laura do enjoy a little bit of kayaking i have seen paddle boards in here as well and they're cool rooms as well overlooking this little lake here it's just something fun and interesting isn't it something a little bit different for a hotel again massively different because every hotel we've been in not one of them's got a natural lake no it's really good really is something different so lots of different cactuses and natural canary islands cactus and plants around as well with all the information and then here you've got a big crossfit section they do have crossfit classes that you can do all outdoors it's huge this this resort is massive i didn't realize how big it was when you drop cars off outside the front which i've done before it looks quite dinky doesn't it yeah you don't think it stretches all this far back basically all the way to the beach now there is a lovely promenade down there as well that does connect so i will show you that a little bit later on if you do want to go out of the resort out of the back So just on the street side here to give you an idea, this is the hotel on the right. Just up there in the haze would be Mount Tady. And then just across there you can see what is uh, Golf del Serre up there. They've got the golf course just here, which isn't far away if you do play golf. So that's what you've got off to the uh, right hand side of the hotel if you were looking at it directly at reception. And then across to the left I will show you what you've got and also out down the back. It just gives you an idea of the orientation of where we are, that all up there is your uh, Golf del Serre. So we've just come in for a little coffee and a drink. We're allowed to have a drink and pay for a drink in this uh, nice bar area just outside of the reception, <coughs> which gives us nice views right down to the ocean from up here as well unfortunately for the kayaks and paddle boards you do have to be staying here though so laura's gone for a, a little coffee we did have a coffee earlier which was nice i had a little sandwich with it as well and a donut yeah. uh, just down the road there in rincon del pan and uh, laura's now gone for another leche leche grande but that looks a little bit better than this morning's even though this morning's was good that looks uh plenty of condensed milk in that one laura I'm excited it does look good laura's going to mix all that up now I've just gone for your nice cold Diet Coke with the views that we've got out here. It was six euros for a lovely coffee and a Coke. Enjoying this view, there's a nice breeze up here as well. But we are going to head on out now and have a look down at the bottom 
uh, just outside of the resort to show you what is around you've got the lovely Los Abragos just down the road there which is a stunning little canary and fishing village I will link in the description uh, some videos that we've done down there showing you the area and also a lovely seafood restaurant uh, but for now we're going to uh, head on out and uh, catch you just down there so as we take a walk down to the coastal area you can see just by the side of the hotel you've got a lovely promenaded area with a nice little local beach as well all of this promenade is fairly new over the last couple of years nice boardwalk and that does include a nice ramp down if you do have any disabilities you can access the beach and just put a towel down or you could bring some deck chairs as well but it is a nice option to have that walkway so as you can see they do have their own private little entrance and exit there to the hotel you can either go right out of the gates and up to san blas and golf del Sur, or you can go left out of the gates uh, down to the lovely fishing village there los abrigos which i've said i will link those in the description it's a lovely little fishing town that is now there's another big reason that filmmakers movie makers love to film out here in the canary islands not just because of the weather and the landscapes that it offers but they also offer massive tax breaks uh, they get a huge tax break to come and film here they're not uh, charged a fortune to make productions out here so that is one of the big reasons they come and film the likes of fast and furious has been filmed here planet of the apes as well various different movies have been filmed out in the canaries and that is one of the major reasons why is because they get to save a lot while they're uh, producing these uh, big productions movies series So that concludes our little visit to the Barcelo to have a look at where Crossfire on BBC was filmed. You can check that out on iPlayer. Don't forget to check out Surfshark as well. It's a fantastic offer uh, for you guys and I have used them for a couple of years. They are brilliant. You'll find them uh, useful in a variety of situations, especially protecting yourself online, uh, making sure no one can hack your phone, things like that on the public Wi-Fi. I find really important passing through the airports and all these various at Wi-Fi locations in restaurants and things while you're away you never know who is sitting around the corner and is accessing that Wi-Fi area but I hope you did enjoy it let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've watched Crossfire let me know what you thought of it everyone seemed to really enjoy it, it was quite uh, thrilling we enjoyed it ourselves when we watched it over the last couple of days we had a couple of chilled days after Florida and we've been watching quite a bit of that and also uh, Netflix as well uh, thank you all very much for watching make sure you do subscribe lots of uh, Tenerife content on the channel already and on the way and uh, thank you very much stride on Step